What do you think about the cats? Oh, I love the cats. They're so cute. <laughs> so welcome to Brandy's channel. <laughs> Today's day is June 2nd, but I have been here maybe for four summers and I've never seen the dragon boat racing. I never know where I can go to see it. So luckily someone told me it's on Sujo River. The ad he sent me said 8 a.m. But then he went yesterday and he told me it was at 2 p.m. So I'm gonna go with my friend Cody. <laughs> June 8th to the 10th is the Dragon Boat Festival. So this is the location where they have Dragon Boat Racing. Dragon Boat Racing is a traditional Chinese water sport. It's with two rows of people, eight people in a row. So total is 16 people in the boat and they race their boats to win. The reason they started this tradition was to get rid of any misfortune. It's an ancient tradition that they still keep doing till this day. And unfortunately, I didn't get to see it. But I do have some footage from yesterday, 2 p.m. from the Dragon Ball races, which I'll insert here. Also, I wanted to mention that although the holiday is June 8th to the 10th, they do have Dragon Boat Racing the weekend before, which this year was the date June 1st and June 2nd. So, sorry about my glasses and the reflection. As I'm editing this video, it's actually Dragon Boat today, the holiday, and an article came out on That Shanghai written by Kathy Wu, and I want to share the legend of this person, that Dragon Boat, racing began because of. So Dragon Boat Festival is a holiday that celebrates the life and death of the famous scholar and poet Chu Yuan, who lived during the Warring States period of the Zhu Dynasty around 300 BC. The festival falls on the fifth day of the lunar month of the Chinese lunar calendar every year. This year it happens to be June 10th, which is today. According to Chinese folklore, Chu contributed a lot to society, serving in the high office. However, he fell out of favor with the emperor and he was accused of treason and eventually sent to exile. During his time in exile, Chu wrote a lot of poetry, however, he felt unappreciated appreciated and he was unhappy so he drowned himself in the Milu River on the fifth day of the fifth month of the lunar calendar in 278 BC. According to this legend, the local villagers highly admired Chu and in an attempt to save his life or find his body, they raced out to the river with boats which is said to begin the origin of the dragon boat races. And I thought this was really interesting. Also a traditional food called zhongzi and this is a packet of rice wrapped around bamboo and has different fillings inside. The reason this is significant to the Dragon Boat Festival is because these rice packets were thrown into the river to prevent the fish from eating Chu's body. And gradually people took to eating zhongzi. Now you know some interesting facts about the Dragon Boat Festival. And let's get back to my video. So since Cody and I missed the actual races, we we're really happy that we saw some evidence of the dragon boats and since we were at Sujo Creek it's actually a really long river and it's really beautiful so we walked around a little bit You know what I like is how they have those fake deer. You see the fake deer? Like there's really deer in this metropolitan. This doesn't look like China. It looks like we're somewhere like tropical.
And then after our walk, we went and had some lunch at La Baraca. And it's also near this really famous building with all the vines on it. And then finally, we made our way to the Jade Buddha Temple, which is free to enter and pet friendly. So I'm going to read some facts, some history about the Jade Buddha Temple on Cody's phone from the website travelguide.com. So just some facts. In the western part of Shanghai, a very modern and flourishing city, there is this famous Buddha Jade Temple. In 1882, an old temple was built to keep two Buddha statues which were brought from Burma by a monk. But the temple was destroyed during the Qing Dynasty. Fortunately, the two statues were saved. So if you come here, you can see these two statues. One of the famous statues is known as the Sitting Buddha. This statue is 1.95 meters tall and weighs 3 tons. It's carved from a single piece of white jade and encrusted with precious stones. The statue looks like Buddha is sitting in a meditative and enlightened state, hence the name the Sitting Buddha. The other famous Buddha is the Reclining Buddha. This one is 96 centimeters long and represents Buddha's final moments. He's carved in a long position that symbolizes the posture of a lucky and peaceful rest. How long have you lived in China, Cody? Uh, Banyan. Banyan. Eight years, and he's never been to the temple. I've been here about four years, and I never come. But it's definitely a hidden gem that you guys should be quoting. It's really nice. It feels very open. Um, even though we're in the middle of a giant metropolis, uh, I still feel, uh, I would just say, at peace here. Yeah. And actually, it says at this website that whether you're Buddhist or not, this is a great place to come because you can feel the peaceful and transcendent atmosphere in the richness of a modern society. So now we can explore a little bit of the inside of the temples. There's many different rooms where you can see different types of Buddhas, Ganesha, and statues, which again I didn't record and my photos are from um, a website because I know it's disrespectful and possibly not good luck. But I do have a question about one of these things we saw inside the temple and we're not sure what it was. So if you guys know what this is, I would really appreciate if you could just enlighten me and inform me in the comments below.
And perhaps the best thing about this temple, in my opinion, is it's pet friendly. And we found, just by accident, this little cat house. So the people there, they're taking care of these cats, which is really great to see. Okay, last thing. I thought this video would be fun to do a little bit unboxing. So you guys have Timu, I think, in Europe. I know in the U.S. you guys have Timu. But for years, China has had Taobao. Basically, you can buy anything. It's very cheap. So I bought some of these shorts for 19 RMB, $3. But I bought these um, also in white. They're really nice. I'm not going to try them on. But I got this push game. I've played it before. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Let me know in the comments if you guys have a push game. It's good for children, memory, hand-eye coordination, and some other skills. But also adults are really enjoying them. And since I teach young children, I was like, okay, I need to get this. So let's open my package. By the way, it's 5 p.m. I dropped my scissors on the water bowl. Okay, seriously, I get way too many packages from Taobao. Clothes, my dog's food, dog collars. Today I bought a cat toy. This is not the one I ordered. Why did I get two? Shit, did I buy two? Oh my god, this is a lot smaller than what I thought. But, let's try it. Power. <gasps> Do you not have batteries? Oh, this became such a complicated unboxing. Oh my god, I really bought two? Did I really buy two? Okay, I have some batteries. So let's see what we need. Sorry, you can't see it. Welcome to the push game. Oh, it's English. Okay, let me let me screw this on because I don't want to push and the batteries go out. Push up the back seat and start the game. I cannot believe this is English. This is the first thing I bought from Taobao that's English. Push the back and start the game. What? 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 Oh my god, I'm really bad. I swear the other one I played wasn't like this. That's it? Jeez. Are you guys enjoying? I'm just an absolute genius. The only thing that's hard is like sometimes the ones that are like this looks green to me, but it's not. See, then I lose. Okay, let's turn this off. So I love it. You can see it's addictive, at least for me. It's really fun. And then I think this here I can turn on the volume. So, do you guys have push games? Do you have children? Did you get it for your children? Did you end up liking it? As an adult, do you play it? This is quite cute, the bunny one, and it's pink. And I'm really into pink, obviously. It's my favorite color. And I have an extra one, so you know what? I will go give it to my neighbor because they have two daughters. I think they'll really enjoy that. But I'm really confused. Did I buy two or did it just come with two? Yeah, that was my video today, you guys. I really enjoyed the Jade Buddha Temple. From all the temples so far that I've seen in China, this is my favorite. I really love the plaza when you walk out. There's a garden there and stuff. It just, it's really beautiful. Cody and I were saying we're going to go back there one day and grab some tea and stuff and just relax. So, so thank you guys again for watching my channel. Remember, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like this video if you liked it. Also leave a comment about things you want to see or what you enjoyed, what you, just comments about anything. And take care you guys, have a nice night or evening, whatever it is by you. <laughs>